All right, boys and girls, welcome back to the drive through. The final video in module one of Algebra one. Let's do it. I really like this. It's basically going to wrap up everything that you've learned. So in each of the problem, you're going to get some information given to you about a sequence, uh, a list of numbers. Your job is to add all the things that you know about the sequence from that, that you've been given and try to figure out, can we make a table from it? Can we make a graph from it? Can we make an explicit or a recursive formula? What's the constant ratio? Constant? We, you get the idea. So here, I'll just walk you through these, okay? We'll do a bunch of these together. This is kind of like a review for your test. And then you'll have uh, time to practice here at the end. So in number one, it tells you that f of 1 is negative 12. That means the first term is negative 12. Now, they give us the recursive formula. Look, f of n, to find the nth term, take the previous term, f of n minus 1, and add 4 to it. This is all that matters. This question is just about do you understand this notation, and it is confusing. So if you don't, that's what the videos are for. Okay? So th what will the second term be? Well, I've got to add 4. The second term will be negative 8, then negative 4, then 0, then 4. Well, here, there's my table. Okay? So we got a table. What will this graph look like? Well, let's just sketch it. Let's figure out where we start. What would the zeroth term be at negative 16? So it would be starting way down here. And we go to 4 comma 0, so we'd hit it somewhere like there. Okay, there's the... All right, all right. Now I think I... This... You remember y equals mx plus b. Well, that's our b. It's where it hits the y-axis, our y-intercept. What's our slope? Well, our slope is how much it goes by up each time. Each step is 4. The slope is 4. So now we can write another equation is y equals 4x minus 16 or f of x is 4x minus 16. Okay. This is an arithmetic sequence. Um, the common difference is the slope. And that's positive 4. And that's a lot, so that's basically... We're going to do some version of that for all of these. All right, so they give us the first five terms of a sequence. The first term is 0. Second term is negative 6. Third term is negative 12. Fourth term is negative 18. Fifth term is negative 24. Again, let's take a look at this. What do you see here? We're, we're going down by 6 every time. Okay, so this is arithmetic. with a slope of negative 6. All right, well, what's our y-intercept? If it's y equals mx plus b, well, our m is negative 6. What's our b? Well, to find that, we've got to put in a 0 in our table to see where it hits. And that's going to be a positive 6. So this equation is going to be y equals, uh, let's see, mx, negative 6x plus 6, or f of x is negative 6x plus 6. Okay. What about our explicit? Well, if f of 1 is 0, f of n is f of n minus 1, sorry, minus 6. There's your recursive formula. What would this line look like if we graphed it? Well, we would start at 0, comma 6. And every time we would go over 1, we would go down 6, 
So 1 comma 0, it's a very slopey line going down. So again, it's just all of the stuff that we've learned in this chapter. I know that the explicit formula for the sequence is f of n is negative 10 times 3 to the n. What do you know? Well, this one just ramped up in difficulty a lot. Well, let's just put in some numbers. So let's make a table. If I put in a 0, 3 to the 0 is 1. Negative 10 times 1 is negative 10. Let's put in a 1. 3 to the first is 3. 3 times negative 10 is negative 30. Let's put in a 2. 3 squared is 9 times 10 is negative 90. Look what's happening. We're multiplying by 3 every time. So the next one will be negative 270. So this is geometric. Okay? Um, if I sketch this graph, it's going to be, let's see, 0, negative 10, 1, negative 30. It's going to just be a really curvy. Okay? And if you're wondering, it actually is going to look like this, but we'll learn more about that later. Um, let's see. Is that right? Let's see. What's 3 to the negative 10? That's going to be really small and negative. Yep, that's right. Okay. What else can we get? Well, I can get um, the common ratio. is 3, and I can write the recursive to get f, well, f of 1 is negative 10. f of n will take the previous term, which is f of n minus 1, and multiply it by 3. Let's use a dot there. All right, that's a lot. I know a lot, and we're going to move on. The first four terms of the sequence are 2. So the first term is 2. The second term is 3. The third term is 4.5. The fourth term is 6.75. All right. So we're multiplying every time by 1.5. But man, I'm a math teacher, so this would be a hard one for you guys to get on your own. Notice 2 times 1.5 is 3. 3 times 1.5 is 4.5, right? Yep. 4.5 times 1.5 is 6.75. So this is geometric. Okay, um, let's look back at that other one to see if that can give us a hint. f of n is negative 10, well that's where you start, times 3, this is how much we're multiplying to the n, okay. So let's see, it's going to be, we need to figure out what 0 is, and this is going to be f of n is something times 1.5 to the n. Well, let's see. We'd have to divide by 1.5 to get back to the previous one. 2 divided by 1.5. That's 2 divided by 3 halves. What happens when we divide by a fraction? 2 times 2. We flip it and reverse it. So it's 1.3 repeating, or 4 thirds. And so that would be this, and I can promise you, uh, short of maybe a bonus for the accelerated class, there's not going to be anything that hard on the test. All right, let's go to the next one. Oh, we, I guess we could do um, the recursive formula, I guess. f of 1 is 2. f of n is take the previous one 
f of n minus 1 and multiply it by 1.5. Okay, you know this, the sequence is arithmetic. f of 3, 0, 1, 2, 3. f of 3 is 10. And f of 7, 4, 5, 6, 7, is 26. Oh, wow, this is great. So we got a blank here, a blank here, and a blank here. Remember how we did this? So we're going to have to add x, and then we're going to have to add x, and we're going to add x, and we're going to have to add x. So remember, there's one more x than there is spaces. So 10 plus 3, excuse me, plus 4x is 26. Subtract 10 from both sides. 4x is 16. x is 4. Let's see if we did that right. 14, 18, 22, 26. Excellent. So let's just keep going backwards. This will be 10 minus 4 is 6, 2, negative 2. All right. So now what is our slope? Our slope is 4. What is our y-intercept? Well, it starts right there at negative 2. So this is going to be y equals 4x minus 2, okay? Or f of x is 4x minus 2, same thing. I could sketch a graph. It starts out at negative 2 and goes up by 4 every time. So a pretty steep gr graph upwards. It's a line because it has a slope. Um, and I might as well do the recursive. f of 1 is 2. f of n is f of n minus 1 plus 4. Stay with me. I won't make it that much longer. So it goes from 1, the first term is 1, the second term is 3, the third term is 5. This is uh, arithmetic. Slope is 2. I put in a 0, I get a negative 1. Y-intercept is negative 1. Y equals 2x minus 1. Or f of x is 2x minus 1. f of n is f of n minus 1. What happened? What do we do every time? We add 2 to the previous one. The graph is going to look like this. Start at negative 1 and go up 1 every time. Again, we're just sketching. Okay, here we go. Moving on. F of 1 is negative 5. The constant ratio, ratio, not difference, the constant ratio. So F of 1 is 5. The second term, we'll have to multiply the previous term by negative 2. So negative 10. The third one is positive 20. The fourth one is negative 40. Okay, okay. So, let's see, is this right? Yep. The constant ratio is negative 2. So, this would be, let's see, well, let's get to 0 with 1. 0 would be. 2.5, no, negative 2.5. So, again, this is tough. F of n, it's where you start, negative 2.5 times, we multiply it by negative 2 every time to the n power. And let's see, this graph is going to be wild. I don't even know that we can graph this. I mean, it makes sense of it. 1, comma 5. 
2, comma, negative 10, 3, comma, 20. Okay, we'll have to put this in our Desmos, which is what we're going to lead off the next section with, the next chapter. So we'll get to that. Don't worry about the graph. All right, last round. First term is negative 2, and the fifth term is negative 1 8. Negative 1 8. First term, negative 2. Second term, third term, fourth term. The fifth term is negative 1 8. Well, let's see. We've got a blank here and a blank here and a blank here. I don't think this is going to be a common difference. I think this is going to be a ratio. So we're going to multiply it, we're going to multiply it, we're going to multiply it, and we're going to multiply it. So negative 2 times x times x times x times x equals negative 1 eighth, eighth, not a third, an eighth. So negative 2 x to the fourth is negative 1 eighth. Divide each side by negative 2. x to the fourth is positive 1 sixteenth. Um, take the fourth root of both sides. And you get x is a half. So now we know that each time we're multiplying the previous one by a half. So this is going to be negative 1, negative 1 half, negative 1 fourth. All right, so if we had 0, it would be negative 4. And so this is going to be f of n. Where do we start? Negative 4 times negative 1 half. to the n power. Does that work? Works for 0. Put it in a 1. Negative 4 times negative 1 half. Let's see. This should be a pot. This shouldn't be negative. Good. Good thing I checked my answer there. Correct, because each time we're multiplying it by positive 1 half. Okay. Um, how about this? Arithmetic. Y equals, oh, I can't read this. Let me pause this real quick. Okay, it looks like it starts at 11 there. And it looks like the rise over run is over 3 down 2. So this is negative. So that's our B. Our slope is negative 2 over 3, rise over run. And you get y equals negative 2 thirds x plus 11. Or you could write that as f of n is negative 2 thirds n plus 11. That's good enough for me. I like to keep the videos under 20 whenever I can. Good luck on your test. Boom!